Hello, and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen, and I'm here with the last day of 14 Days of Christmas. I cannot believe it is almost 2023. So I decided I would do another couple layouts from my December Daily. And I am continuing to use the Vicki Booten's Warm Wishes, which is what my book is for. And... I, oh, I got a little confused there for a second. So the other day I created the cover page and day one. And I have completed day four right there. As you can see, I got a post-it note over it because it's one of my students. Um, and so today I'm going to do page two and three. And I've put the pictures where they belong. I've even pulled some papers and put them not in every place, but quite a few of them if they fit um, like certain themes or, you know, worked with my pictures or something like that. So I have the sticker book. I have the puffy words. I have the puffy titles and the chipboard. And of course I had the six by eight paper pad. And then I have day two and day three from the Flare Huts Advent Calendar, which I didn't get a chance to work with in the beginning. Um, I got it a little late and then I was insanely busy. So here are the flare for day two that I'd like to get used. And then the, there are two flare in here for day three. There may have been three and I only used two. No, there's two of them in there. And I may have already used one that came out of there. I can't remember for sure. But I have those. And then I also have two other ones. These stars down here. Those came from like that day 19 or something so I have my papers my embellishment my flair and my pictures so let's see how this goes okay Ooh, I don't know why I'm out of breath probably because I just took the dog out and got situated and ready for bed so I have these two pictures I love <laughs> the people that I work with are the best and you're gonna see a lot of them um if you are watching any of my December dailies, because that is who I spend my days with. And that's who I spent, you know, Monday through Friday. Um, and so there's quite a few pictures of them um, on the weekdays. <laughs> so I can't help it <laughs> because they're lots of fun. And my friends are, um, you know, they're goofy like me. And so these two pictures were actually taken because if you watched, um, Thursday's Christmas 14 days of Christmas and I did day one I was documenting my friend Mary and it was her birthday and actually it was the day before her birthday and she went out of town um, on that Friday um, December the 2nd and so um, we me and my other co-worker were sending her pictures letting her know that we were okay and we wore our cute little headbands with the lights on it that she bought us and then um we were on day two of the 12 days of christmas and that our principals and admin were putting on for us and she wanted to know what frosty friday meant which we figured we knew but we wanted she wanted to verify so frosty friday was our principals and admin went and got frosties from um wendy's and brought them to the 80 almost 80 staff members in our school because they're awesome like that i know y'all are jealous and wish that you could be as cool as us so um anywho so that flare that is on the bottom came from my day two flare um advent calendar and it has little candies on it now is it candy in that? Uh, no, but it's a sweet treat, and I um, thought that that was pretty fitting. And I put the little Santa Claus up here because the color scheme is working for me. And, um, you know, Santa Claus is Christmas. It's all good. And, of course, the stripes match everything. And I put the stripes in a way to where they are going with the stripes on the background paper. And then I put this little... Um, <laughs> I almost said banner. Uh, well, I guess it, no, it's like a tag, a little fishtail tag, banner, whatever you want to call it. I put that up at the top, you all. I need to go to bed. Um, and because I did that, is why I added that little red arrow on the other one. Now that's going to be on the bottom. These are flipped around right now while I'm working on them. Um, and then I put 
that little phrase that says, um, the little teal one that says something about, I don't know, the lights or something like that. Okay, so then I've moved on to day three. They don't take very long to create. A lot of times it's more me, him, hawing and trying to figure out where the best place to place my numbers are because they're not in the same place, obviously, because I don't want it to this massive amount of bulk in one place. Like if you constantly put the number in the bottom corner to where it's going to be in the bottom right corner of your book, then your book's going to be really fat. So I try and move things around. However, <laughs> my December daily book is already very fat and I have 12 more days to go, but I'm putting a flare on every page and sometimes that gets fat, but I thought this was the perfect opportunity to use some of them to where this book is going to be a lone standing up on the top of my shelf next to my Christmas book from last year. And so it's not taking up, that sounds weird, but it's not taking up space on the shelves like my normal, um, like chronological scrapbooks are. And so I, I can be a little bit more, um, bulky. <laughs> so these flare up at the top I like the blue because they match like you see that huge stack of blue um, in the picture that would be melting chocolates okay this is cookie baking day and it's cookie and goodie baking day and with my family the only person in this picture is my mom she's in the background getting the first goodie ready and um, we're in full effect uh, it was a like 13 hour day no 15 hour day uh, for me and um, we made hundreds and hundreds upon hundreds thousands of goodies to take to um, school our kids teachers to friends to church to all the places um, and it is one of my absolute favorite things to do um, I love cookie day we started in 2009 um, I have created layouts in the past about cookie day so um, it is just one of my absolute favorite things to do um, it's exhausting I am physically and emotionally just exhausted and drained at the end of the day but I get to spend the day with my mom my sister my brother-in-law <laughs> who I really do adore uh, my kids usually are a part of it my niece and nephew are usually a part of it my aunt is usually there my best good friend who is in that picture that is now up on the top that was at night after we were done um, she came over and then had to leave for a function for a get together that was pre-planned and then came back and helped me finish up all the Oreo balls and cake balls and all the things. And I just, it has been such a joy to do that every year. And the people that I work with, um, I fully appreciate it because I promise you when I post anything on Facebook and it's like, getting goodies for cookie day my all the staff from my old school and a lot of the staff from my current school are like oh my gosh I cannot wait because the current school I'm at now is where my kids went to school so they are aware of the goodies they received the goodies <laughs> so they were very excited <laughs> So, uh, anyway, it's one of my favorite days. So everything I'm using is from the Warm Wishes collection. The only thing that I've brought in at all throughout this entire thing, other than cardstock, is the flare, of course. And um, I've brought in one, two little stickers of an ice skater because I documented my um, student doing who was in the Nutcracker, and you'll see that right here I'm going to put it away in just a second so I am just putting these in here I love these colors this pattern I don't like a lot of icon backgrounds for Christmas paper I find it harder to work with so that's why um sometimes the papers that are like those big bold um icon papers are not the ones that I use um so but here is going to be the close-up of the, oh yes it says twinkle lights and they did twinkle if you wanted them to but I usually kept them on a solid um, and then at the bottom I added some little snowflakes because you know it was a frosty frosties are frozen right <laughs> and then on day three I added this word phrase that says my favorite because like I said it's my favorite day um, family recipe because we do use some of those and then this makes me happy because that's me and my bestie 
So I hope that you all will come back again. I will definitely be doing a flip through of my book when I am done with it. I Like I said, I have 12 layouts left. I started it yesterday <laughs> as of when I'm recording this. So, you know, I'm, I've been doing it all day long today because it's my goal. I want to get done before I go, but I have to go back to work on the third. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope to see you again really, really soon and happy scrapping.